Okay, good morning guys. Um, as you can see, I just got finished um washing my face. Um, I don't do a whole bunch to my skin routine because my skin, I'm still trying to try out some stuff and then again, I'm not trying to buy a whole bunch of skincare until I'm able to actually go see a dermatologist because it seemed like I try stuff and my skin still looks the same so I usually don't see no changing. The only thing I see is like, oh, it's glowing more. Anyway, but yeah, my skin, I'm trying not to spend a whole bunch of money on skincare. I'm trying to make me some breakfast. I'm making me some sausages and I got me some blueberry English muffins in the air fryer. But yeah, so I'm trying to get myself together right now. So I just tried my first attempt um, at the um, final, not the final exam, but a week four exam. And I didn't do so good. Um, I usually try to do it on either Sunday nights or Monday mornings. Today is Monday, but um, <laughs> I guess my focus wasn't uh, uh, like completely there. It was just a lot going on in the house this morning, but I am gonna try again when I come home from work. Um, because it's still, it's not going to be nobody in the house and that will be the perfect time. And I wrote down the answers that I got wrong, uh, which I'm pretty, I knew I had got them wrong, but I just second guessed myself. So that'll be an easy fix. Um, and then, yeah, um, let me flip my sausage before it burn burnout. So, yeah, um, but that's really the, what I all have going on today. I will probably update y'all when I get back in the car after I drop my daughter off from school. Um. Oh, goodness. Okay, so, yeah. I'm going to talk to y'all. So, let me get this breakfast together. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, I just got done with my quiz for the second time because they give you two attempts. And I just got done with um, the second time doing the quiz. And I passed with an 88. Girl, I'm going to just... I can't do that else about it. Like, that was my second attempt. But I'm happy with it. It kind of did stress me out because I forgot which answers I had got right because I didn't write it down, which is, hey, it is what it is. So I have forgot some of the stuff that I got right. So I was like, oh shoot, what did I, how did I, what was it? And some of those questions kind of like mixed me up. But we got it done. Everything is done. And I'm just like moving on. Now we're moving on to week five. This is the last week. And as I'm looking at week five right now, which is what I'm doing right now, I'm, uh, I have a week. So I'm not stressing it. Like it's not a module this week. Um, this week is basically everything that we learned. Um, so let's see. What, let me see if I can read. So basically the discussion for this week um, is... What's the day? This today is the 11th. This is doing the 14th. Okay, so cool. I can get this done tonight or tomorrow. It says, discuss how to best reduce or manage the effects of aging on either the respiratory system or the cardiac system. Cool. How could you help your older patients prepare for an... Un for or understand the changes in their bodies. Now, my thing is that can be kind of hard because you know old patients, they're stuck in their ways. You can't tell them nothing. Like they know what works for them and they know what works for them. And if it's not working for them, they don't really want to hear nothing else. So I'm gonna just have to just be straightforward with that one. But the second question was basically, how could you help your younger patients keep their hearts and lungs healthier for longer? That's easy. So it's not really much to do with that, but I am gonna try to take my time. I'm to kind of brainstorm a little bit. But what got me, and that's only like a 20, 250 word minimum uh, for the post. But what got me was week five assignment, girl. The week five assignment, it's, a, um, it's basically saying we have explained functions of heart and the importance of keeping that uh, fist size muscle healthy. Um, learned about the respiratory system and stuff like that. So basically the prompt is this week assignment will combine everything we have learned so far. I'm glad I got my notes. Everything right here. I just got to go over everything. Um, you will write a 500 word paper explaining the importance of heart and lung health. And what changes you can make in your daily routine to ensure um, good health and lung health. Now, like I said, this this is right up my alley. I know how to like I don't okay, me and writing kind of tussle back and forth together. But I can write this stuff with no problem and be good. Like this is this is what I can do. Like I can just write stuff that especially if it's something I'm passionate about. I'm really passionate about like health and just being the healthiest you you can be and feeling better and knowing you can walk a mile without breathing hard. Like I can talk about that all day. But it's just, 
And I can write it without even thinking about because 500 words, it is a lot, but I can type up 300 words without even thinking about it as long as I have the right notes and I can just type up, type up, type up every, basically from each week, just get pieces of each week. So that's really not hard either. But after that, I have a final exam that I have to do as well. And usually the final exam is like either 50 to 100 questions. <sighs> 50 to 100 questions, I think. And I'm trying to decide if I want to write down those questions. Um, it's going to take a while. But if I think about it, and if I'm being correct, <laughs> if it goes back to those questions, I can answer them. If I know them, if the ones that I know that was right, I can go back to them and, uh, you know, be like, okay, I got them right. Let me go ahead and put it back in and, you know. But if it was wrong, all I got to do is mark to say it was wrong. And then I'll figure out how to re, not redo it, but get the right answer. So I don't know. This week is just going to be, it's going to be longer, but I just have to be intentional about everything. So yeah, and that's basically it for this week. That's going to be it. I'm going to focus on it. And it's like, I'm done. I just, the next couple, the next week that's coming up, I, I'm not ready because who wants to do math in history what so y'all just pray for me <laughs> i'm going ahead and end this week out like it wasn't much going on today it's monday this is usually where the week usually ends so i'm gonna just end not this week out child i'm gonna end today out um and just continue with tuesday it's probably gonna be more going on tuesday um but yeah that's all i'm doing um so i'll probably See y'all tomorrow. Ooh, not yet, it's loud. Shut up, it barely worked, child, but it's blowing out something. Yeah. <laughs> I, ooh, I said I was like not going to record until tomorrow, but I ain't got nothing else to do. Oh, and if y'all ain't know yet, I don't got no radio in my car. Listen, it drives from point A to point B, and that's all I care about. Listen, hold up until I save for a new car please or at least a down payment you know that's the goals <laughs> but no y'all so i was thinking and of course i'm always thinking about something but i was thinking about how we are screwed in life <laughs> like we are so screwed in life and i'm not even being funny like but we were set up <laughs> we were set up and i wouldn't even say we were set up by our parents i wouldn't even say it like that i feel as though we were set up because uh, let's be real if i'm thinking about it we were set up because of course our parents yeah they want to have kids and we are here da, 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 da. things get worse as they go along the years so that's not that they set us up and they put us here to pay bills and this, this and that we can't expect <laughs> for life to get like this and then i feel as though we were bamboozled because we should have been saving since we were in kindergarten all that little money that we was putting in our little bank accounts in the kindergarten our parents should have told us not to touch it until we got a certain age and they should have told us that money should have been saved for a car or a house or to live because life was gonna be crazy so if you have kids, <laughs> start saving for them now. If you have money in your budget and you just have extra money, don't go buy that new shirt. You don't need it. Don't go buy them shoes. You don't need them. They're going to be in the box for a couple of months anyway. You don't need them. Put that money in a savings account for them babies. Because they're going to come back and blame us. Because we sometimes blame our parents for certain things. And it's really not their fault in a way because they didn't know the knowledge so in a way it kind of is and kind of not they didn't know the knowledge so the knowledge that they don't know they can't teach us because they don't know you know what i'm saying but since we now know the knowledge we can now impl implement or what whatever you know what i'm trying to say we can give that knowledge to our kids now and we can place that knowledge and do what we need to do with it so if you have the extra money, put that extra five, ten dollars, 
that you save throughout the week budget your money out budget your money out and if you ain't spent that money that you budgeted out for the week put that in them baby savings accounts yeah i don't drink soda like that but this tahitian tree i had put it in the freezer so it got a little ice in it but anyway but yeah make life easier for them because life ain't it ain't easy right now i'm gonna I'm be completely honest life is not easy right now and let's pretend like it's not like it is we cannot stop let's pretend that life is easy it's not and the reason why i say it's not because we have so many things we have to oh girl i know you ain't walk out this door with them lips that is trapped like that i got y'all at a bad angle because this is i want y'all lip in my face oh my gosh because why would i do that my looks about to shop. Come on, Aquaphone. Let me see if I can get this part. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh. But prepare them, you know? Prepare them like you would prepare yourself. Like, it's just so much stuff. And that, the reason why I say we got set up is because we have to prepare for... Oh, my gosh. Like, the thunder and it's about to pour down. I know my daughter that's screaming. But um, what was I saying? That thunder just distracted me. We gotta worry about retirement plans. We gotta worry about buying a house. If you wanna buy a house, you gotta um uh, worry about um being able to afford rent, whatever, and rent. Uh, we ain't gonna even must talk about that. We ain't gonna talk about the interest rates and buying a house. We're not going to talk about interest rates and getting a car. Like, you have to have the money to have a car, um, get a nice car, because um, you ain't always got to buy new. You don't always have to buy new. Like, as long as it's a new, uh, unless it's new and used, don't be spending your money and then the interest rate be high and then you end up spend, pay, paying more of what the car is. Girl, be smart. But it's like we got to worry about Social Security. We got to worry about when we do get a house all the stuff that need to get fixed with the house if we are having rent worrying about oh you paying rent but that's it like you it's gone now it's gone when you could have put all that money towards the house but then it's like yeah you could put all that money towards the house but the house got more responsibilities because instead of it being an apartment and that being their responsibility now it's on you so if something break guess what you gotta do you gotta fix it <laughs> you gotta fix it so that whole thing with trying to rush into getting in the house and the american dream cool but in your time you know what i'm saying like stop trying to rush and that's the one thing about social media too it's like stop trying to rush do you know what i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna talk about this in another video it's gonna be a whole separate video because i have just so much to say about the american dream and i'm gonna just leave that for another video because that's i got a lot to say with that but but anyway prepare yourself Whatever job you have, prepare yourself. Stop trying to um, be like the Joneses because the Joneses ain't got it. I'm going to tell you that right now. They don't got it. They just don't. <laughs> they pretend like they do, but they don't because you're not in their business like that for real. So, just be yourself. Stop looking at social media. And it's hard. I know it is. It's hard. We all are trying to survive. We all are trying to look good and be the best person we can. But is looking good going to cost you your actual life and how you want your life to be money-wise? Because at the end of the day, we're all trying to be comfortable. Being comfortable don't mean that you got to follow every trend. That's not being comfortable. That's you trying to look good for other people. I can go on about some stuff, but I ain't, I ain't going to do it. Girl, y'all see my little hair trying to grow? But anyway. But yeah, I really just want to come on here and rant because I ain't got nothing else to do. I'm in this um pickup line and it's about to rain and I'm ready to get in the house because I do not like being out when it's raining. I want to be in the house where it's comfortable. Comfortable. It's starting to cool down though. That's one good thing. It's not as hot in here like it usually do. I be usually in here burning up my air barely blow out it blow out it give me something thank god but you know i still be sweating just a little bit 
get them. So, but I'm just ready for it to cool down because I'm just ready for fall period. I'm ready for my fall drink, my chai, my chai tea latte with my pumpkin cream foam. With my um, sometimes I do the brown sugar syrup, or I do the um, it's another syrup that's real real good, and I do that one. Yeah. I'm just ready for it to feel like fall. I might do my nails. Like, I might do some press-ons. I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, I'm honestly, since we're here, I'm really not trying to make these videos long, but it seems like it's going to be. Or I'm going to try to make the rest of the week kind of short because I'm sitting here and I'm talking. And it's just because I got a lot of stuff on my mind. <laughs> um, I have to... I'm ready for next year, honestly, because I have so many goals to reach in like next year. And I can, like I write all my stuff down on paper and I can see it. And when I can see it on paper, I'm like, oh, I'm ready for that. Cause I already know how it's gonna be. And of course, you know, you're gonna run into um, walls and stuff like that and puddles. Oops, sorry. But, um, of course, you're going to run into stuff like that. But I'm just, I guess I'm just ready for the journey of it all. And I try not to stress about anything because God don't let, want us stressing. He doesn't want us stressing over stuff because we're not here to stress over it. He got it. Pass it on to him. Pass all your worries and your stress to him. So what am I stressed about? What am I worrying about? Exactly. So I try to smile all the time. Not all the time, but I try not to show that I'm in a bad mood. Because what am I in a bad mood for? God has me. <laughs> but all religion aside. And I'm not even that religious. Like, I am I have a belief. I have faith. So I wouldn't even say I'm all that religious. Which, you know, that's not, neither here or there. But I do have a belief and I know who I believe in. I do know my higher power. And I know what he can do and I know what he has done. So that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> but yeah. But I just know that... I'm putting it all to him, especially with graduating. That's why I have so many goals because I know what's going to happen. Like, I don't know what's going to happen because God will laugh at you with plans. He definitely will. He'll sit there and laugh in your face, girl. But you just have to believe that those things are going to work out. And I know I'm a believing and I'm just like, I be writing them down like crazy because one thing about it, manifestation is real. And I write stuff down like it already happened or I write stuff down like I know it's about to happen. Like, I'm writing it down like, okay, this is about to happen tomorrow. Like, and I believe in it and I just be sitting chilling like Ooh, I can't wait <laughs> but yeah Watch it. let me start running my mouth with y'all because I will sit here it's I've been recording for 11 minutes it don't even seem like I've been talking that long but let me go ahead and go I will talk to y'all later good afternoon in the hood not really I am not in the hood um I don't know where I left off oh yesterday what's today Tuesday um hey y'all so today is tuesday um i just got home from work um and yeah <laughs> i just got home from work i'm about to go in the house um and start on this work today i think i explained what this week was about basically um and i i'm just trying to i think i just need to get into the habit let me get in this house because first of all it's hot it's hot and I'm about to sit in this car. First of all, oh, I'm about to sit in this car, wasting my gas. Okay. All right. So it's hot. First of all, I need to eat because, um, I usually don't eat lunch, but again, I don't know what I want to eat. I want to make a salad, but I don't have any cucumber, and I love me a cucumber. So, <sighs> I don't know. I'm about to figure it out, but I'm about to go ahead and get started on this work because I know I need the discussion has to be is due by tomorrow, but I don't want to go ahead and get some of it done today. Only because ooh, I don't like how I'm. I don't know what my crap are at. Let me see if I can talk to y'all like this. There we go. But I don't know. I'm going to try to get some of it done today before I have to take her. 
um because my husband my husband doesn't come home he just he's not coming straight home he won't be here until later tonight because he has a rehearsal um tonight so if you don't know my husband is a professional drummer um he plays the drums um and he does gigs he does gigs he does have a he does have a regular um nine to five <laughs> well in his case a seven to three yeah anyway but um <laughs> he does have a regular job but he does do the, that's basically his side hustle um and he you know that he's a professional drummer and he does gigs every weekend but um he has to do that so i ain't have i have to get as much as, as i can done um but also pick up my daughter from school also do her homework also <laughs> take her to karate also get her ready for bed so it's like it's looking like i'm probably going to be up all night and i don't like being up all night i don't because i like my sleep like if anything i love my sleep get my sleep but i know i can work on it tomorrow at school um because i'll be there the rest of the week um so I'm trying to get a rough draft of what I'm going to write for the discussion, um, which is probably what I'm going to do now. Where's my pens? They're not right here. I'm going to have to go get them. But yes, so I'm going to just write down um, some rough draft, write down a few notes that I'm going to write, and then just try to get that done. And like I said, if I don't get it done tonight or today i know for a fact i can get that turned in tomorrow morning while i'm at the school because it's quiet and i got my own little cubicle and i can do everything and i'll be set um and i can just focus on that because when I, the one thing about it i can focus more when i'm not here um if i'm at the school i can get a lot more work done because yes i'm in the cubicle and you hear people in your surrounding area but i'm there to help if needed but if not i'm there to study it's a, it's a study um it's work study so I literally can go in there and do my work and sit down and without nobody bothering me, I don't, I can put my phone to the side and just be chilling and focus. Um, so yeah. Um, and I think the thing that's getting me is like, I got to do the discussion question. I got to do the project that's 500 words and I got to do a quiz. So I'm just like trying to get all this together. I'm about to, what I'm about to do is meditate. <laughs> I'm about to meditate, but it's okay. Everything is good because I know I can do it, so I'm not stressing it. It's just I have to do so much within a week, um, and that's where the focus comes in, you know. So, yeah, I'm about to try to figure out what I'm going to eat, and then I will come back and I will um, update y'all on what's going on. Good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday. Um, I don't know if you can hear in my voice, but I'm kind of like nasal. Today, it's not Tuesday, girl. I said Tuesday is <laughs> it's wednesday um today i decided to not go up to the school today y'all know usually if i'm i was at my regular job yesterday and monday and usually i'm not there on mondays and tuesdays unless they really need me but today i was going to go to the school but the way i'm feeling it's about to be that time of the month which hopefully oh god please <laughs> i can explain that later but um I'm just not, I don't know what it, and yes, I would definitely need the money, like, I, I don't know, I went back and forth with it, with saying, like, should I go, should I not go, um, uh, I think that's the freedom of it, but I don't like that, that's the freedom of it, because if it's like, if I'm not feeling good, I ain't going, and I'm just not feeling it at all, and I'm just like, I don't want to go there, and then even though it's like, yes, I can go there to get my work done because I know it's a place where it's more comfortable, but there's nobody at the house. It's just me. So I can easily get some work done uh, without a whole bunch of noise and distractions. Um, another thing, um, I'm just like trying to like save so much money right now. So if I would have went up to the school, they would have had the food truck and girl, I can't resist this food. I couldn't resist that food truck and I was going to see what was on the food truck and I was going to get something. But I rather not save them because I'm still going to probably buy me something to eat. But I'm trying to do better with my eating habits too and not. Mm -mm, that map was it. And not go out to eat as much, but try to get like healthier versions of stuff. Or just go to the store and get groceries. <laughs> not having to out to eat, just have like something just in case. But like you know 
Um, and I, I'm like, I'm trying to lose weight, but not really. Because, you know, they say if you lose weight too quick, you get pregnant. And, baby, I ain't trying to do that. I ain't trying to do that. So, I'm really, like, not trying to... I'm trying to eat better, but I'm not trying to lose no weight like crazy right now. Um... Cause that's I'm scared. <laughs> um, what's what else? What else? What else? So yeah, I'm about to go in here and do some work. Like I said, I'm about to work on my discussion. The discussion isn't due until what's the date? The 13th. I think it's due tomorrow. I think it's due tomorrow, the 14th. Um, and then everything else is not due until the 18th. But I got so much going on this weekend. I'm just like, no, I need to finish everything by Friday, or at least every uh at least everything by saturday because there's so much going on but yeah i'm just like not feeling it right i'm not feeling it and i want to go because i know it'll help me save and do what i gotta do just to pay off this credit card because that is my main thing like i said if you want to hear the talk about money and talks about my finances and how i handle them i do have a budget channel down below so click the link baby and catch up and catch up but um and because i budget i don't budget out my paychecks i budget what i take out in cash so i pay my bills and do everything and then i have money put into my savings because that's important you never know what's gonna happen but the money that i show on that channel is what i budget with for i put money aside for my bills because i do stuff my bills i put my money aside for my, on my bills um because that's how i watch it i don't want to sit in my bank I don't want to see it in my because I pay my my bills with my credit card. I want my points, <laughs> so I pay my bills with my credit card. And at the end of the month, I just pay my bills off. I just pay my credit um, credit card off. What's that do with my credit? I don't know because I won't. I don't know if it's late or not. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but right now it's working, <laughs> and I just pay my um my credit cards at the end of the month. Ooh, Nika. I'm sorry, y'all. I hope y'all ain't heard that. But anyway, I pay it off at the end of the month. And that just works with me. Because if I see the money in the bank, that the issue that's the issue. If I see it in the bank, then I'm not, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that it's not being done for anything. It's like if something come up, ooh, let me use my card. No, that was for a bill. And I'm not gonna think about it. I'm still trying to work on that, but I just take all my money out and then I stuff my bills and yeah, so I gotta do everything. I pay my gas. Yep. <laughs> and I get my points because that's just better for me right now. So, um, and then I do my I do cash in my um wallet and then I pay for stuff with cash and whatever cash I get back or whatever cash I have left at the end of the week. Um, I put it in my savings challenges because at the end of the day we are trying to save. Um, and I realized after doing that, I've been doing this for a while, but I realized I don't spend that much money which hey it is what it is I, I don't spend that much money because i don't for one i don't go nowhere i'm in school online like what am i doing <laughs> um and i go to work and i come home and i pick my daughter from school she go to karate she goes to dance i don't really do much unless it's with my husband and like he's always at a gig and if he's not at a gig he take care of a lot of stuff so i don't i don't really do anything so which is good for right now. I really don't. I really don't care to until I get my life together. <laughs> until I get my life together. As uh, long as Zena is taken care of, Robert's good. We're all right. But anyway, I, why am I on here chatting? I'm just running my mouth, really. It ain't really got nothing to do with school related. <laughs> I was just letting y'all know what's going on and why I'm home. But I don't, I really, I'm not trying to make this vlog too long. So I'm probably not going to update y'all again until what's tomorrow thursday until friday because most likely i'll have everything else together and i'll have everything done oh i gotta sneeze <coughs> Bless. so yeah i'll probably update y'all on friday with everything going on um and like i said hopefully i'll be done with my discussion post and i'll be done with a few more other things and then i'll just let y'all know what's going on and then from that point i'll be done with this class and i'll just be waiting on grades and then that's when the struggle comes in because uh. but yeah i will talk to you guys on friday
Good morning, y'all. Um, I hope y'all can't hear. I got my headphones on. Wonder if y'all can hear that. I hope not. Let me take it out my ear. Okay, let me do that because I don't know how that's gonna. But anyway, good morning. Today is Sunday. I know I was supposed to update you guys Friday, but it really wasn't much going on. Um, I was at the school. Um, yeah, I was at the school Sunday, and I was finishing up my assignment. So I was done. The only thing I have to do today, and you know me, I might do it tomorrow, <laughs> is my final exam. But with the final exam, it's not 25 questions. It's not going to be 25 questions. I think it's going to be like either 50 or 100 because it's going over the whole week. Um, my assignment was basically the same thing. The, it was basically talking about everything that we learned. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm probably going to either do that tonight or um tomorrow while i'm at the school and i'm just going to let them know that i'm just going to be um taking my test and i'm just going to go in like a separate room and uh yeah that's the good thing about like being up at the school especially if you only do online but you are up there and the school is in your area um you can easily like if you have a test to take just go in you'll still be counting for your hours if you do work study you'll still be um counted for your hours but also, you can be like, hey, I'm about to go step into a room right quick and do my quiz and, you know, do what you got to do. But that's probably what I'm, that might be what I do Monday, just so I can turn that in or whatever like that. But, um, yeah, I want to hop on here, honestly. Oh, let me show y'all my dress. I got this dress. Let me see if I can pop it up right here so y'all can see. Let's see. Do, do, do. This dress, it show all my body. Good. First of all, I got on my Nike Pro shorts, so it might be showing. You know how my Nike Pro shorts do. They show everything. Um, and it's like this. It's in the back, and it's long, and it has like a split right here. I got this from Ross. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Ross be on their stuff sometimes. Now, you got to go through and look for the right stuff, but yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, I did want to talk to y'all, though, honestly. <sighs> even though this series it looked like it's gonna it seemed like it's gonna be long but i don't want my channel to be all about this yes here and there but i'm trying to do my vlogs like every day and then if it's something school related i will bring it in and of course you'll see it in the title but i know these past few weeks or these past few months has been about um school and me being a medical assistant student or whatever like that but i don't want to just rely on that um so yeah i wouldn't say i'm changing some stuff up but i am going to be changing um like the um title of my videos or whatever and it's not going to just be relaying on that but it's just going to be basically everyday vlogs so basically if it's like one day and i'm vlogging it's going to be like sunday vlog or um a day in the life with me um little stuff like that i'm not you know because this is this is actually going to be a long vlog because I included Monday through today and today is Sunday. And yeah, I already know I got to piece together some stuff and I don't even know how everything is going to come together. But I do want to get this out there. And yeah, so like next week, my new class starts on Tuesday and I'll just probably just be recording that whole day and just getting like little clips and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to update y'all on what's going on and i'm probably gonna actually end this week off here um right here because i am i'm trying to clean up a little bit um my daughter's been gone for the weekend so i'm trying to clean up i had to wash clothes and get my life together basically and also get my etsy shop up for my budgeting channel and if you're not following that the link will be down below i will be launching my etsy on friday today is sunday and i will be launching that stuff and if you don't know what I will be putting on there, it's going to be saving challenges, like saving boxes and stuff like that, where you save over $1,000 and stuff like that. Just, you know, just so you can save your money and get your money right. Um, So, yeah. So, look out for that. But just go ahead and follow that channel for any updates. And I will have my, I should have my Instagram, my budget Instagram up under there too. So, you can go ahead and follow that for any updates. But, yes i will see you guys in the next video thank you all for staying too if you have watched to the end first of all you you are real one <laughs> um and just comment um we in here i'm <laughs> in the comments um so yeah like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye